currently face a unique situation in the world where we have the COVID-19 pandemic. And this means that we're working in different ways. Um, I myself, as the Director for Technology, Climate Change and Natural Resource Management, uh, I'm unable to be physically in Addis Ababa and I'm currently in Seychelles in my home country. But working still on the projects to uh, develop uh, the goals that we have in mind uh, to achieve a green recovery uh, as part of the work of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. And one of the main projects that we have been developing is the Green Legacy uh, project which Ethiopia has launched and which we are supporting to improve livelihoods in communities and also uh, prioritize nature-based solutions which really make a, d a difference in people's lives and build resilience against climate change. The Green Legacy Project is a unique project whereby the Ethiopian government has committed to plant billions of trees on an annual basis to improve the environmental outcomes and the human outcomes for their population. This is a critical part of building back better in this era where we are faced with COVID-19 and of ensuring that we are responding to climate change, but we are also providing economic benefits that are far-reaching. And we look forward to implementing this project uh, in the coming months uh, and supporting the Ethiopian's Green Legacy ambitions. And we hope that this will inspire other African countries to do the same with the opportunities that we have around the Great Green Wall, for example, in Western Africa, and around uh, opportunities uh, that link in regions in Africa and building on the opportunities uh, to improve livelihoods through the African continental free trade area. One of our biggest challenges to fight COVID-19, but also climate change, is to find solutions that are rooted within communities and societies. And nature-based solutions offer us some of the best uh, opportunities to do so. Nature-based solutions means recognizing the economic value that nature offers to a society and building opportunities for people to improve their lives by creating wealth through nature-based solutions, but also enhancing their environment. Where an environment is degraded, that environment can be rehabilitated, for example, through reforestation. And that reforestation improves uh, the ability to preserve water resources and the use of those water resources, for example, in a wider provision of water as per the, the Sustainable Development Goals to ensure that populations have access to clean uh, drinking water. In Seychelles, uh, for example, the country where I'm currently uh, based, uh, we know that uh, the, the ocean is one of the biggest resources that the country can, uh, can rely on. Uh, but for us to absolutely make best use of the ocean, we also have to make sure that, that those resources are sustainably developed over the longer term. And Seychelles has pioneered certain nature-based solutions uh, such as a debt for nature swap uh, in 2015, whereby a portion of uh, Seychelles' vast marine uh, territory, uh, over 300,000 square kilometers, has been put under some form of protection. Uh, and in return, a part of Seychelles' uh, debt uh, has been reduced. And also payments that Seychelles was making towards its debt now go towards nature conservation. We have to ensure that Africa is able to respond to climate change immediately because of the impact that it's having on societies, on economies, and which is further uh, increasing inequalities. Uh, the majority of people in Africa are unfortunately informally employed, and therefore nature-based solutions are a way to support people at their source and create multiplier effects for SMEs and to ensure that uh, flows reach people who are the most marginalized in communities. In relation to the current situation of COVID-19, uh, we are uh, actively looking at opportunities to green our industries. A lot of the work that the UNECA is doing uh, is ensuring that uh, the opportunities that we are building for industrialization in Africa uh, are contributing positively towards reducing the burden of climate change and ensuring that we are more climate resilient as a continent. That means looking at the most efficient means of energy production. 
And in Africa, we must recognize that first and foremost, this means connecting as many people as possible to electricity grids, recognizing that almost 600 million African uh, citizens still do not have access to electricity. It also means ensuring that there is uh, equitable access to water and sanitation. It means ensuring that there are resilient cities with transportation networks that can ensure uh, that people can uh, produce products that we need on the continent and that we improve food security, that we have sustainable and resilient agriculture uh, where products can be easily uh, transported from one country to the other and that the minimum uh, carbon footprint uh, is established through those means of production. So by building on energy, uh, we are linking with all of the other sustainable development goals uh, as a starting point. And work on SDG 7 is therefore the key to building back better and ensuring that there is a green recovery across Africa. Africa is responsible uh, for less than 4% of global emissions while representing 17% of the total world population. Ultimately, responding to climate change is about ensuring the viability of the futures of all of our countries and this is the work that the UNECA is doing uh, through uh, its capacity building and support to various African countries to address the challenge of climate change in a meaningful manner.